crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet and builds mountains. Uncover buried treasure and see what makes mountains blow. Find out what shapes the top of the Earth and explore the secret world below with me, Nick, on the rocks. Seattle, Washington. We're on board the Bainbridge Ferry looking at one of the most beautiful cities in all of North America. Some amazing geology discoveries have happened right here in the last 50 years to help us understand that earthquakes have played a large role in the geologic history of this area. And I'm afraid that means there's earthquakes coming in the future. So are we sure that earthquakes have happened here in Seattle? What does the evidence look like? This is a rare treat, bedrock at the surface in the Puget Sound. Normally it's glacial till, burying the bedrock by thousands of vertical feet, but here the bedrock's at the surface, why? There were a series of earthquakes on the Seattle Fault. Each time we had an earthquake, the land lifted abruptly. The last time, 21 feet at the snap of a finger. And the evidence we have for that is that there's a platform here, a platform of bedrock that all came up suddenly instead of a gradual lifting. That kind of movement on the floor of Puget Sound is bound to cause trouble. Sandy Doton is an award-winning science reporter and author covering earthquake research in the Pacific Northwest for more than 20 years. In a Cascadia subduction zone quake, the rupture is going to be about 100 miles from Seattle off the Pacific coast. But in a Seattle fault quake, the rupture is going to occur basically right under our feet on a fault that's only a couple of miles down. So the shaking is going to be much more intense. Based on current field data, there's a 5% chance of the Seattle Fault making a magnitude 7.0 earthquake in the next 50 years. In response, engineers are using the most advanced technology to replace old structures, creating new buildings, bridges and tunnels designed to withstand major earthquakes. Do you want proof? This thing's coming down hopefully before the next earthquake. The Alaska Way Viaduct, a double-decker freeway coming right through downtown Seattle, was opened in 1953, long before we knew about the seismic risk here in the Pacific Northwest. This type structure is identical to another 1950s double-decker freeway in the San Francisco Bay Area. The Cypress Street Viaduct collapsed during the 1989 San Francisco earthquake. So back here in Seattle, the importance of improving the safety, response, and recovery for millions of people cannot be understated. And Seattle is being proactive about trying to be prepared for the next big earthquake in the Pacific Northwest.